Hi guys, today I'm going to give you four out of eight top myth busters in real estate that cost people money all the time. And number one myth buster is you'll get a better deal if you use the listing agent for the purchase of the home you want to buy. And you might end up paying more for that home if you use the listing agent. And here's the bottom line. It's just not worth the effort to contact each separate listing agent to see each listing that you should see before you make a decision on a home. I'm going to go with the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, who said in his book, when I buy real estate, I find the best agent in town and I pay them more. Now there's an option for you. Number two myth is that if you overprice your listing, it won't hurt you. The truth is you miss the magic window and there is no doubt that a home fresh to the market has more market buzz when it's a fresh new listing at uh, it's when all the true buyers come out to find the very best homes. A knowledgeable professional agent knows when that magic window is for your market. In the triangle market, for example, our local days on the market has reduced from 50 days on the market to 44. Now that is an average and averages are deceptive. In our market, great homes will sell the first few days that they're on the market. So don't overprice your home. Number three, you'll find the perfect home if you just look long enough. Well, that is definitely a myth. Uh, we have a beloved customer that wants to move and they have the money to move and they both want to move and they looked at many homes in the last five years looking for that perfect home. But around two years ago, when they were deciding on whether to make an offer or not on a particular home, I spoke to the seller directly and I said, well, you're, you're in a seller's market. It's a good, strong seller's market, but you're going to benefit for that because you're also selling your home. But he just had to have that deal. And so now every time we talk, we're talking about the house the houses that he's missed over the years. And the truth is, is that the market has become even more slanted to a seller's market. So now the homes that he's going to, which are higher price, are costing even, even more. So there's not a perfect home. There's not a perfect husband. There's not a perfect wife. There may be a few perfect children out there, but I'll get back to you on that. The number four myth that we'll talk about today is the home values posted online are probably more accurate than what your local agent thinks. And please don't tell me that. Uh, please refer to rule number one. Don't believe that the tax assessment or the local Zillow estimate wins over a top professional agent that is selling 50 or 60 homes a month. It's just not rational. Uh, Zillow, for example, can't smell the cat in the house, nor does the tax assessor take into consideration the power lines in the backyard. So refer back to that number one rule. That's my four out of eight. Tune in next time to find the next four things that are definitely a myth when it comes to judging and buying residential real estate.